Hello folks and welcome. So Endeavor OS, the um, XFCE desktop. So today I am going to be mostly talking about um, mouse pointers or possibly icon themes. Um, I'm using candy icons today. You can probably see that my menus are quite colorful. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to talk about the location of, uh, well, where those are stored and also where these mouse cursors are stored. You know, sometimes when you go through the automated methods, um, some things sometimes go awry. So in either case, folks, welcome. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. This video will be more than two minutes. All my videos have timelines and chapters. So my made up uh, user for today is Paul. I like to have fun with names once in a while. And uh, this is Endeavor OS, the XF CE desktop. Hopefully you've had enough uh, to stare at that screen for a while. I'll use Alt F4 to close and I'll open up my file manager. As you can see, I'm using very colorful icons today and I will bring that to the center and uh, we can resize these on the fly. So to view hidden files and folders, um, some of you folks may know this, some not so much. Uh, it's Control H as in Henry. When you do that, it will show you your hidden files and folders, and I'm looking for dot icons. Okay, and I'm going to deal with the updates a little bit later. But this particular folder uh, contains the radioactive mouse cursor theme and also the candy icons, the ones that I'm currently using. I also have a sweet rainbow also. If you're curious to see what those look like, I will go to Paul's home folder, Control H and resize these on the fly. I'm just holding down my control key and using my computer mouse scroll wheel, but I'll show you what the other ones look like if you're curious. So that particular icon theme is called Sweet Rainbow, and that one looks like that. You can get these kind of things over uh, by hitting Add. You can uh, download these things from different locations. Uh, Gnome-look.org is where I go to download this stuff and uh, you can too. So if you're not successful downloading your uh, icon sets or mouse cursors this way, then let me show you a manual way to do this. Let me uh, open up a browser that is, believe it or not, Firefox, and I will click that open, and I will uh, go with, actually I'll just go through my own YouTube site because I have a link to it. I'll click that little foot there, gnome-look.org. Um, 803 cursors. I'll make this a little bit larger for you on the fly. And uh, we can download stuff by rating or whatever you're interested in. Okay, I'll take some of those Oreo uh, cursors and let's download one of them and get a fairly high rating on it. Let's see what they look like. Got 19 files. What color do you want? How about, um, what, what's a good color? Purple maybe? Blue? I'll download two of these. Here's a red one, and I'm just waiting for it to give me the go ahead. It's preparing to download, and I'm just gonna ex show an example of downloading two. So there's this one, and um, we'll choose um, what color here? A purple, how's that? So anyways, to install these things, you can install these manually after you uncompress them. I'll show you some tips as I go forward. Okay, you can also look for the uh, theme that I'm currently using, using the search feature at the top here, and just type in sweet, and uh, enter. And there's the folder themes, the sweet ones, uh, 13 files, pick your colors. I believe these are called rainbow. And the ones that I'm using for the candy icons are right here. They're all done by the same developer. Okay, it's only one file. It's in a tar.exe format. So a lot of these things are uh, compressed in different formats. Okay, so I'm gonna use Alt and F4 here. And then I'm gonna switch this up a little bit. Now, a lot of people don't like these kind of things. And some people, you know, not so much. So if you don't, I will switch that over to something normal. That'll help you. So I have two files sitting here. 
Uh, actually, I got several. But I've downloaded, um, I believe, this one and that one, along with this mess. So what I'm going to do is uncompress both of those. The Oreo Purple, right-click, Extract Archive Manager, and Extract. And Extract. Close, close. As long as it extracts into a proper folder with a index and cursor, I don't care if it's got extra themes in there. Uh, this looks normal. And that was the purple one, so let me do the red one. And the same deal, extract and close and close. As long as they extract into a folder, you're good to go. All right, what I'm going to do here, I know I have a lot of stuff in here, just bear with me. I just extracted two of these from those two files I downloaded. So this is the candy icon, also came from the same website, and so is all this other stuff. But more importantly, what I'm going to do here is, uh, if you want, I'll resize this on the fly, and only pick these two and do a cut. And then go back into Paul. Paul is just a made-up name. Control H and go find my dot icons folder. And by the way, if you don't have this, you can always right click and create it yourself. Just start with a dot or a period. Icons, spell it exactly the same. It'll complain if I try to create this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna hit cancel. In either case, I am going to paste those two folders in here. All right. So I now have a choice of how to pick these things. So I have uh, my my mouse and touchpad has some themes in it. The Oreo purple I just downloaded. That's this one. And I don't know how big this thing goes, but we'll find out. 72 looks like. And the red one, also the same. Radioactive is what I was currently using. So these things right here are coming from dot icons. And again, depending on what you picked, you get all kinds of weird effects. But uh, since I've been switching themes, um, I could switch back. But normally I don't try to do this in the middle of filming. But I'm just giving you some examples. So what's in here for mouse cursors is this one, this one, and that one. Basically, these three are cursors. These are folder themes. So I installed these manually. So you're probably going, well, wait a second. There's more in here like that one and this one and that one. Well, let me show you where they're installed. I'm going to go to the file system under USR, under share, under icons. I'm going to type I and it finds the first I. The icons folder is right here. The Adweta is right there. The that right there is here and the dark is right here. Okay, that's where these are coming from. This folder is protected by root permissions, by the way. Right click, properties, permissions. Root is the owner of that folder. So that means I can't remove or add files or folders. If I wanted to install those mouse cursor themes that are currently in my download folder and want to get them in here, I'd have to open up my file manager Thunar in root mode or at least pseudo mode, so I can install those files there. However, it's a lot easier to install these kind of things in your .icons folder. In other words, here. Okay. What would you do when you uh, switch mouse cursors or pointers after you, uh, well, click on one? My suggestion would be to um, log out of your system. So, um, sorry, log out. Log out of your system and log back in if you decide to change cursors or mouse pointers. You know, there's lots of different things you can do with your system, obviously. You, know, you saw that under appearance. I was using that theme there, or was I using blue? I don't remember. And then uh, I was using candy icons of ink, or yeah, I think I was using that one. So, anyways, you get the idea. Control H. All right, so make, I'll enlarge that on the fly. So control H. So dot icons is where you want your mouse cursors. I have three themes. These are folder themes. They're currently using candy icons. They also, they belong in the same folder, dot icons. 
You know, not everything is perfect, folks. But more importantly, a lot of times, too, when you're trying to install these through here, you also have failures. All right. Sometimes things don't work right. But in either case, I'm just giving you some examples on how you can manually install mouse cursor files and also icon files for folder themes in your dot icons folder, Alt F4. Thank you for watching.